Hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Hey, everyone. Sorry. Here. Yeah. Okay. I have to apologize. I have put the wrong time in the video. So, um, so sorry. We're, we're going live tonight instead. What the heck happened to Teresa? Oh, no. Teresa, come back, please. Um, we're going live tonight instead of tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll write it down. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I'm going to message her. Okay. So, whoops. Okay. And she's coming. All right. Okay. One. Hey. Uh, hey, is... uh, I just sent you the folders in your messenger, Teresa. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh no. Thank you. Is what, what's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, it's okay. I'm just trying to write a message in the chat here real soon. We are, we are live to night and not thank you for writing that in the video sandy sandy's got a message in the video that uh explains it that my my on my channel on my channel that is so yeah but in the group we did put uh or Teresa put something so hopefully everyone will get the message here i did i posted it in there Sorry, everyone, we are... Uh, and I posted the link, so the link's in the comments. All Thank right. You. Okay, so welcome, everyone. We, we've got a good show for you tonight. Um, okay, so since we're, we're all here and we're all ready, and uh, Teresa, why don't we have you talk um, about what you tell me so I can understand it better, too. And it would be nice. <laughs> okay. No, really, it would be nice to know exactly what you're talking about, the... The peanuts guy, everyone. This is oh fizzy pop. Hi, long time no see. Hey fizzy, welcome. And so, um, hey yeah. sis. So you you just tell them everything, and I'll go ahead and search the. Uh, I'll explain it. If, Where do I go? Kind of okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'll explain. All right, just tell me what to look up online. Okay. I need you to look up um, Mr. Peanut passed or Mr. Peanut. What's the word to say? Passed away or dead? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, Mr. there you Peanut go. Okay, <laughs> those are a few words you can use: expired, dead, underground. Okay, so here's the story: um, the iconic character. The one that does Mr. Peanut with the monocle. We all know he has the monocle. I'm not going to get into Mr. Monopoly and like comparison. However, this character has been around since 1916, which makes him 104 years old. Well, it seems like Planters, the company that owns him, is killed him off today. Like literally killed off the character Mr. Peanut with the monocle. And what they what they what they did is they had this commercial. Um, I don't know if what time it was on today or where it's been played at, because I don't watch commercials anyhow, and I rarely watch TV. So supposedly they decided to do a commercial to do with a horrible car accident. Sorry, it's kind of not very nice to talk about car accidents with the actors Wesley Snipes and Matt Walsh. And they decided to do this. And when they did this commercial, the only way they could kill them off was to do this type of commercial to get, you know, so anyhow, they're, they're going down the road and they hit, there's like a whole story behind it. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, sure. Read it, Teresa. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the snack company revealed that Mr. Peanut's untimely demise occurred following a horrible car accident with his friends, actors Wesley Snipes and Matt Walsh, that appeared in this commercial. 
along with Mr. Peanut, as a cartoon, of course. The three men, or two men and a monocle-wearing monocle legumes, were taking a road trip through winding desert canyon roads when Armadillo caused a netmobile that they were riding in to swerve off a cliff. The three travelers ended up hanging from a small branch high above a canyon. As a final act of heroism, Mr. Peanut purposely fell to his death in order to save Snipes and Walsh, and he died respectively still wearing his top hat. He was 104 years old. So supposedly this was the way that they came up to do this like commercial, like a, I guess a huge making a big deal out of it. We killed off our character. So supposedly um, this was like a, That's so um, weird. <laughs> yeah, I know it's really weird. Who, who cares they about is, Mr. Peanut anyway? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I know, but this is an iconic character. You know what I mean? So they said for yeah. those who wish to witness Mr. Peanut's final sacrifice, the commercial, which first went live on social media Wednesday, which is today, will also air during the Super Bowl pregame show. And no other, no American will have to cry alone. Planners, other Super Bowl commercial, which is set to air during the third quarter of the game, if you're watching the Super Bowl, will allow viewers to mourn Mr. Peanut during his funeral. Basically, you get to see his funeral. I don't know how they're going to do a funeral for a peanut, but whatever. <laughs> uh, fans who wish to celebrate Mr. Peanut's life can keep their eyes peeled for one of these three nutmobiles circling the country. Yes, it's going to be circling the country. In real life, between now and February 2nd, to get a special Mr. Peanut event, which is probably going to be a huge deal because it's probably a collector's item. Um, from Friday, January 24th through January 27th, people can also win packaging um, that showcases Mr. Peanut's transformation over the years since his birth in 1916. And for a chance to win, follow Mr. Peanut's social media now titled The Estate of Mr. Peanut on Friday. <laughs> so they have like a, um, they have a Twitter thing here. Um, hashtag R.I. Peanut and R.I.P. is also in caps. Pick.twitter.com slash V F N E F O D or Z E P. <clears throat> so um <laughs> it's kind of funny. Somebody somebody tweeted this. Mr. Peanut was a sadistic weirdo who rounded up other peanuts to be killed, roasted and eaten. It will be your own people. Rotten hell, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> These are people who are like yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So basically we don't know if it's, okay, now we don't know if this is like a promotional thing. You know, like what they do with IHOP when they made it IHOB. Remember when they did that? And everybody was like freaking out. They're like, they changed the name of IHOP to IHOB. They did it as a promotional thing because it had to do with them selling hamburgers. So supposedly this is supposed to be real. Now we don't know if they're doing this as a promotional thing. But then again, they said they want you to watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> And they said it will all be revealed, whether this is a stunt or they mm. really, 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 according to the commercial, he died. So I don't know how you can bring a peanut back from the dead unless he fell on the side somewhere and crawling up. I don't know. <laughs> but I say watch the Super Bowl and let's find out more if this is a publicity mm. stunt or they're really starting fresh without this mascot. And God bless you guys all. Mm -hmm. Everyone. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Teresa. Rest in peace. Yeah. So long. <laughs> it's kind of uh, weird. So yeah, no, that this, is, this weird. is not a Mandela effect. This is not a Mandela effect. This is something they're doing, whether he really did die or it is a publicity thing. We won't know until we watch this Super Bowl to see, finish this story. Mm -hmm. so there we go. Okay. Why could, all right. Here's my question. <laughs> Why couldn't they just have him retire? <laughs> I don't like, know. They had to make a big deal out of it. They're like the old mascot home. And they could have had like, you know, like cameos <laughs> of like the Monopoly man. And I, I think it's kind of sadistic killing him off. Especially yeah. falling off a cliff. <laughs> Somebody's got a sixth sense of humor. They Planters. Do. 
They do. Yeah. Um, do you, um, curious or do you see anything else while you have the website up that might explain this a little bit more? But I think I bring in pretty good details. Yeah, you, you, they, you did a pretty good job. But you guys can all, you. you know, look it up if you want to. But uh, I say um, again, let's watch the Super Bowl, just, everyone, and see what happened. See yeah. if he comes back to life or this is real and it is. He is dead and truly dead. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. So. Yes. All Let's right. take a few uh, seconds. Let's have a, a moment of silence. Okay, silence. Teresa, come on. Okay, that's enough. I mean, I don't even buy the peanuts. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know him. Rest you know? in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> if he's dead. Total really strangers. Dead. I I don't think he cares about us. He's too many fans. And Oh, I know. <laughs> that was it. Was that was worth sharing? No. And I also uh, want to know how th only three planners peanut cars are going to travel the entire United States. I uh, we can look into that later on, Sandy. Yeah. Do some more research. You and I will do some digging. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. So anyhow, okay. let's move on to the next thing. I. Yes, I okay, up on now this. maybe you can talk a little bit about what you sent me, which ah. I'm going to put up on the screen right now. Okay. It looks interesting, but I, I never get a chance to ask you about it. This is the, um, okay, um, the Scorpio Pisces can cancer thing. You see it? You, you'd sent me this. I'm starting. I'm waiting for it to come up on my screen. But Teresa, I the zodiac. Oh yes. This was the. It seems like they're trying to make thirteen signs for the astrology. You know, for their horoscopes. You know, like Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius. If you look closely, look what it says. New dates, old dates. Oh, okay. See it? Yes. What, what does it say? Next yes. Up? Okay, it wasn't in the zodiac. That's what it says. Yeah, th this was weird. I, I don't yeah, buy this. Is. I'm still a Leo, so I don't care. But a lot of people are very upset by this. My sign changed. I'm Gemini. And what are you? Uh, I'm not a Scorpio anymore. Yours? Okay. I'm a Scorpio, but no longer according to this chart. Look what it says. Yeah, Queen is chart. Teresa's a Libra. November twelfth. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm a Libra Old, now. Oh my God! I my sign changed then. Okay. See, I didn't even I didn't understand this. Exactly. Okay, so it's gonna be uh, June. Okay, so yeah. now I am a Cancer. Where am I? Yep. Everybody's June. Oh back. my God! That's crazy. I don't and know why Joey this is happening. What they're trying to do. Oh my gosh. I think it's crazy. No, I'm a tour Taurus now. What, my my I'm a Taurus. Oh, you're a Taurus now. Taurus. Yeah. May and, to and, uh June eleventh. I mean May to May wow. to, to June twenty first. Well, everybody's bumped. I stayed the same. I'm lucky. Not me. I'm a Taurus. You stay Leo. So this is this is horrible, you know. People could be devastated it by is. this, you know. They well, could really thing about this and, and just be ups, just, really upset. It wasn't even posted in a Mandela Effect group, guys. That's what's bizarre about it. Look what, no, Teresa, look what the person Teresa, said. It was covered. not even in an Emmy group. Teresa, we did cover, this was covered a while ago. We covered it on Brian's show. But what, what I, what oh, I I'm so it, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's good to bring it up again because people didn't know about it. That's For why people who didn't know up. about this. Exactly. It's great to bring these things up again. And that's why half the people yes. don't acknowledge this. Yeah. <laughs> so upset that they're not the signs they've always been. Yeah. Really. It's tripping me out, guys, seeing this. Really tripping me out. Yeah, I don't know what they're people, up to. Most people had their dates changed. Yep. Whoa. So yeah, it was good to bring it up again, Teresa, because I, a lot yeah. of people still don't know about it. A lot. Yes. Yeah, so we we just wanted, um, Kirsten just wanted to get this out to everyone, and it just it just kind of trips me out every time I look at. it. I'm like, I don't care if it's changed. I'm staying a Scorpio. I'm not. I'm not going to even, you know, change it. I'm going to stay what I truly am. You know. 
Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to, That's you know, thing. go Were, by was this. Was that menu. off the, I can't even pronounce it. Was that, that was the new sign around like when we were born? Because if it wasn't, it doesn't count. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It, why should it count if, you know, that, that should be for everyone who's, who's getting born and then. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good argument, too, if, if anyone. Yeah. That's what we can all um, Let's see. Hor <laughs> horoscope. Um, dates. Uh, what what it, range? What are you supposed to? Oh, May. Born born May June uh, May twenty first to June twenty. So that make means I am a Gemini still. This is confusing. It is very confusing. So this says I. This is saying I am a Gemini if it's May twenty first to June twentieth. That's it. But the I other one's saying a Taurus. When are they doing this, Teresa? What what is what is this? When are they That's doing this? I don't it's know. Like, it's not just us, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Half the world is rejecting this notion that there's a 13th sign. Exactly. Now. Exactly. And that's okay, why so, you see a lot of it the way we remember it and a lot this way. It's like, okay, it is there two timelines so going there. on? I think there's two timelines splitting up with this effect. I yeah, think it's and, split. I think you know? it is split. This, this, this shows some kind of split right here. Because yeah, and Michael Fontaine says that's not that this has been around since 2012. Oh my God! So but yeah, this, this is like popping up. This is like a whole separate, play, you know. I know reality in a way. Who who's going by it this? Is. You know. I don't know. Because not there really are people, other ones that are saying something else. So. Wow. That's okay, trippy. guys. So if you're, if you're disappointed, you might still have the old same sign. Um, just <laughs> look into it more if you, if you want. But, and, um, you know, we didn't mean to upset anyone. I, I, I think that, uh, I think it may just be like two different separate little deals going on there. I don't, I don't understand it. Yeah. But it's so Mandela effect, I, you know. So it's like it's related. It's 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 like it just as weird as everything else. It is. It is. Yeah. I would probably be freaking if it, if it had changed on me. Mm -hmm. Like no. <laughs> you have to be a Leo. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, I am totally. A Leo. My brother is telling, too. So. And I was telling Teresa this. Not only am I a Leo, I'm also a Leo in the Chinese. Zodiac. I'm the dragon. So I'm a Leo dragon. I'm like the Leo. As Leo as you can get. <laughs> I'm as Gemini as you can get. So I, I, you know, I can't, I can't even phantom, you know, this. <laughs> uh -huh. I get it. Uh, I, I can't right. even phantom. It. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Now, <laughs> let's see. So can I, I talk, I know we're going to go to uh, the flicker in a bit but I'm just going yep. to uh, to show what I, I think is maybe a change let's see uh, Pepsi Sorry. yeah I want to see this see Pepsi logo I guess um, yeah here this is what I'm seeing on the the bottles and stuff and that look at the e look at the eaves wave wavy oh no when did that happen i don't know but it i've just noticed that today actually at the store in the, the chat e's just guys, waving do you remember the e being like that teresa do you remember no. it like that no look at that e wait when did that happen Today for me, uh, but uh, we can we can go ahead and see if, if it's <gasps> no, a new that's new guys thing because no, it, it's probably new, new, but I mean, 
All right, let's it see. Um, logo, yeah. Guys, just to let you know, Preliminal is letting us know that the new the new Zodiac is only for people born after 2012. So oh, you breathe good. a sigh of relief. Mm-hmm. You are still your sign. So. <laughs> All right. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank crazy. You, Preliminal. And I guess that's what. Thank you. I guess that's Thank what you Michael was saying. Yeah, and Michael too. I think that's what he was saying by since 2012. So okay, that makes more sense now. Now it's clarified. <laughs> Yes, there you go. I knew somebody could clarify that. Oh my gosh, this wow. kind of split into two things. Okay, and here's the Pepsi logo history. Um, wow, it's it's still loading. I'm sorry, my computer's just really slow. Stuff like this. Everybody's giving their signs in the chat. <laughs> I'm loving that. <this. laughs> How long has it been like that? I, I don't know. I just noticed it today. So if it's a new change, you know. I don't know. I meant with Logopedia since you have it mm-hmm. up. I, I didn't know if you could see it or not. Oh, okay. It's It's been... It's not loading You're, is the problem. You might be in it's the my wrong computer. one. Because that one says made with real sugar. Is all Pepsi made with real sugar? Or is there a separate Pepsi? Because at the bottom, see PepsiCo and Pepsi? Expand all right, at let's the bottom. See. I'm leaving. Logopedia. Let's see. This is going to work. Yeah. It might do the same thing. Yeah. Oh no, that was different. Okay, this one's better. Okay, um, let's see. This is all Pepsi. I, I can you believe this one in eighteen? That does not look right. Brad's drink. Oh my God! Look at these. Wait, these eighteen nineties and nineteen oh five. Yeah, they're crazy looking. But wait, does anyone stop? Stop. In the chat. Ah. Did anyone know that Pepsi was called Brad's drink? What? I've never seen Brad's drink before. From 1893 never. to 1898, Pepsi has been was known as Brad's drink. Okay. Sandy. Sandy, what? this is not a new change. It's been this way since 2008. Oh, no. The way yeah. That's wrong. <laughs> and and the Pepsi yeah. above it, see the black letters? Those little flippy things on the letters, they weren't there either. See the P, the E, the, the, the yeah. E, the S, and the I. Exactly. The flippy things changed too. But I'm, I'm more blown away by Brad's drink right now. <laughs> A and E coin says no. I'm an antique collector, and I've never heard of it. Brad's drink. The first logo at the very top. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> I never heard of it. All right, you talk about that for a second. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna put you on hold for okay. a sec. Okay. Okay. Teresa. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it's just me, guys. <sighs> okay, so we have one answer. Who is Brad? Right, Fizzy? Right? Well, I guess I'm going to say hi to everybody because Teresa's is not here to talk. Uh, let's see. Who do we have today? We have Preliminal, Fizzy Pop, Frankie Aponte. Um... This is here. We also have Raveen Hawk. We have, I hope I said your name right, Michael Fontaine, Jose Martinez. We haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. Same with Paul Caniff. Okay, I'm back. Sorry Johnson. About that. I'm just saying hi to everybody in the okay, chat. Okay, great. Yeah, we lost Teresa again. Jacobian's here. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey. 
Let's see. Teresa, get back here. A and E coins. Rich Vasanix here. Hey. I think that's everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Say hi at the bottom. Oh, good. I'm hey, ready. Rich. <laughs> hey, Rich. And um, hello to everyone. Welcome. So glad you could join. All For right. Those so I'm just joining us I, uh, really quickly. Yes or no, Rich Vasanix, because you just got here. J uh, Jacobian was here, so he probably heard. Um, do you have you ever heard of Pepsi being called Brad's <laughs> drink prior to being Pepsi Co Pepsi was PepsiCo or Pepsi Cola? Prior to Pep Pepsi Cola, it was now called Brad's drink, and never in my life have I heard of Brad's drink. Like. In anything. Jacobian says only because I looked up recently and Rich Vasanic is screaming. No. <laughs> no. Like that. <laughs> Dean Johnson Brad's never. Drink. There it is. Wow. That's, That's how it first started I mean, out apparently. That logo does look like it fits the period. Who the heck Unlike is Brad? The first Pepsi Cola logo and the second Pepsi Cola logo, but um, I've never heard of that. It was a medicine. It's strange they would Eight, call it a drink. Thank you, Annie Coins. Yeah, that is very strange. <sighs> Where's Teresa? Teresa. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Teresa, okay, have you yeah, ever heard of Brad's guys. drink before? Teresa, you are asking you about Brad's drink? No. Okay. Oh. No. Okay. No. One hundred percent okay. no. Always been Pepsi. All right. Um. Yeah. Who is no, Brad anyway? And yeah, and yeah, Amy Coins is a is is an antiques collector, and he said he's never heard of. I think you said antiques collector. Yeah, an antique collector, and he's never heard of it, and looked it up and found out that it was a medicine. Before yeah. it became a soda, it's weird that they would call a medicine a drink. Never. Nope. That's new. All right. That's the first one. Met, one thing I noticed just today was the Pepsi, the E. And uh, this is another one, uh, funny one I noticed today. Okay. The Back Country Magazine now has, okay, what is going on? Oh, here it is. Now, every every single A, you see how the A's are normal here? Can you guys see this? Now, look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> look at the upside down V. What? Oh, no. So I noticed this one has got an upside down V uh, uh, for an A. And I wanted to look it up. So this is the first time I'm looking it up. And it looks like some of them have an upside down V. For an A, and some of them don't, which is weird. Peculiar. You know, what? what is, why? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, anyway, I wanted to share that. I know, just noticing this magazine, it was just... So yeah, when, they right. changed the, when did they change the logo to that, though? Because before it was the lowercase. Do you know when they changed it? I don't know, but there's all sort of different magazines here. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, what, what would you look for that, for Logopedia? Uh, I would try Backcountry Magazine Logopedia. Okay, Logopedia. I don't know if it'll come up, but it's worth a shot. And the reason I can't spell is because I'm in the dark, so just don't think <laughs> don't think I can't spell when I when I type things. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, I can't see my keyboard very well, which is dumb, I know. But um, okay. let's see, we got um the magazine. Is this this might be something if they if they don't have it 
the easiest thing. We can always look into it later. It's okay. You have yeah, we can, we'll have to look into it later. But they have several magazines out of like a whole ton of them. And some of them looked older with the upside down V as an A. Which I don't, I can't, I can't imagine why they do that. It's like this whole new thing. And all right. Um, what else? Do well, you want to go to Flickr or do you have more to talk about before we go to Teresa? Uh, let's see. I could, um, I could talk about a couple things now or, or later, you know, like, like as usual, it's just, doesn't really matter. Um, what do you want to do? To Teresa, cause she's, she's, oh, cause she's here. Let, let's let yeah. Teresa. Just, I'd rather while she's here, go ahead she and drops know. out. Teresa? Which, yeah, which one are we doing? How about we which do, one? um, the purses? Right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, um, how many people in the chat? Wait, wait, Teresa, I have a graphic for you, remember? Wait, oh, guys, okay. can, can I ask one, one question before, uh, before okay. we get started with that? Um, I just want to show you, ask you a question. You said you covered this with Brian, I know. But this yeah. rack furniture, was, did it look like this or was it, yes. was it just, yeah. that was it? She here? means Rena Center. Guys, she means Rena yeah. Center. I don't. I don't call it rack. I just call it Renaissance. Re oh, Renaissance. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I abbreviated. I, 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 I yeah. called it rack so I could remember it because I don't know yeah. the place. I just know the truck going by, and uh, I noticed yeah. this R used to just be like big, but not this big. It went goes all the way to the sea now. All right. Well, when so. we covered this, we covered the connection, but it's changed since we saw it last. The R wasn't broken like that, and the E's are crooked now in, in rent a center. You see it? Okay, e's? yeah, they are. So All right. the changes since we covered it are the open R and the crooked E's. And and I've noticed that they've some of these changes will change even more. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. go to Did you want me to go to a graphic? Yeah, the um the Johnson one. All right. Let me just find it. I think it's purple. It might be easier okay. to find that one. Like if you see a purple one or a pink one. It's not my usual like red. Okay, what is it called again? That the album? Uh, okay. C C L E twenty twenty space three. And it's the John's. Okay, got it. Yeah, you got it. All right, Teresa, now you can ask the chat your question. She's about to pull up the graphic. Okay. So, how many people, how many of you guys, um, or girls, um, okay, how many people remember Betsy Johnson purses? <clears throat> she made purses. What else did she make? Jewelry. Um, Jewelry, accessories. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I said accessories, shoes, okay. accessories. Yes, but I, I know I'm mostly known for purses and jewelry. As, Same. You know, because I've bought um, her jewelry before. And I don't even remember spelling Betsy. Give them a choice. Yeah. No, don't give a choice. I just want to see how they spell Betsy. Do you remember B E T S Y or do you remember B E T S E Y? So the chat the says. Graphic I chose what do you for think? You? Teresa, do you see the graphic I chose for you? Hello? <laughs> Teresa? Teresa, uh, are you there? We were losing it. No, I knew we were losing her. I knew it. Oh, she's gone. She's okay, gone. so we got some answers here. Uh, Busy Pop says EY. Um, somebody says, uh, Chancellor Napa says, uh, Bet 
B E T T E S Y, which is I've never seen Betsy spelled out. Betty C. Um, okay. Betty I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the AI here. <laughs> I was asking, okay. did you see the graphic I made for you? Did you uh, like no, the I, I didn't. Did? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Oh. There it is. Okay. Let me see. Why would I can't see it? Because she's not presenting. <laughs> oh, am I okay. not? I'm not presenting. I, I don't just remember. No. Oh, I stopped presenting. Okay, I was. Okay, sorry. There it goes again. All right. It's okay, Frankie, if you don't know. Yes. All right, so so far, Teresa, we have, because he remembers EY, and Chancellor Napa, B-E-T-T-E-S-Y. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. Anyone else? Betsy Johnson? Okay. What up? All right. Yeah, we're going to be talking about that again tonight, Antonio Lugo. We got some stuff. <laughs> okay. We got some stuff. All right. Well, no so, one else is answering. So let's okay. just go to the residue. Okay. Tell, tell us what you remember. I remember. Go ahead. Let's show it what it is now. Well, I don't have what it is now. That's why I said, tell them what you talk. Tell them what you remember and what it is now. Well, how it is now, the time Oh, you're breaking up, Teresa. Are you on your uh, clubhouse? Teresa? Teresa, are you on the clubhouse? But like, did your phone jump to the clubhouse? No. I'm sure, because oh, wow. I'm breaking up really bad. Yeah, you sound real, yes. real yes, bad. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. All right, I would turn Wi-Fi off unit. in your phone just to be safe. It's not on right now. Yeah, I know. I can hear you good better, so that's good. All right, what were you saying? Okay. We couldn't hear you. Try again. What okay. So I remember BETSY and was able to, um, with Sandy's help, was able to find residue for the way that I remember it. BETSY. Yes, it's currently E. It's S E Y now, right? Correct. Yeah. That's really awesome. And I believe she's showing it now. Yes. C B E T S Y. Yes. B E T S Y. And even Poshmark remembers, even Poshmark, yeah, a very well, reputable uh, site that sells jewelry, accessories. And that's what I was going to say. Even the people selling their own purses are remembering it without the E. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. E T S Y again. There was there was a lot of the residue, correct, Sandy? Was there mm -hmm. more than I thought there would be? Yep. There is. I Rare we'll Betsy get... Johnson avocado. Look, Fitz, you were going to say avocado first. That photo. <laughs> it's cute. I want one. It is. It is cute. But it says it's. Yeah, but it says it's sold. Ninety-four dollars. Wow. I'll look at the one billion or trillion, whatever that we call Oops, it. Oops, stop yet. that. Um, okay, that's trillion. You might want to get out of that. Well, yeah, that shouldn't be in there. Get out of there. That shouldn't be in there. Oops. <laughs> so anyhow, okay, yes. Yeah, so that was, right that was a big one for me. A big change. Yeah. Thank you for letting okay. me share that. No problem. And then the next one. Oh. Well, we're going to talk about that one next anyway. So can you go to the Beals uh, folder, please? Oh, you got more residue. There's more residue for Betsy. Yeah, there's there's a lot of residue for... I don't know if that's... Oh, yeah, Betsy Johnson. Oh, more residue. 
Let's see. Yeah. I think that's adorable. The cat donut bunch. But they are adorable, Phil. I mean, look, yummy. Look, that's only twenty six seventy. You can get Betsy Johnson lunch bags for twenty six seventy. That's not bad. Great price. Yeah. Okay. So what's we moving on to the next one? Yeah, the Beatles folder, please. Ah, uh, I know which one we're doing. Yeah, Teresa and I found two Beatles Mandela effects together. It was crazy. At least, yeah. Curious, sir, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Okay. So, this is the first question, guys. Okay. Ready? I don't know if she's going to show it. The um, you know, album, search. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. You remember the song, We All Live in a Yellow Submarine? No, not that what one. What color do you remember? Not that one. Not that not one. What? No, oh. right now the, the other remember. graphic is up. <laughs> oh. Okay. The other one. The Starch and Peppers? Yes. <laughs> Ah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we were doing okay. the other one. So now we're, we're you, just asking. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Teresa. How do you remember Sgt. Pepper's um, Lonely Hearts Band being written out? After the word Sgt. Correct, Sandy? Yes, before the word Pepper's on the uh, drum. So, guys, do you remember it written out Sgt.? Do you remember SGT with a colon underneath or SGT colon? Okay, Michael Fontaine says one. How do you remember? That's good, yeah. One, two, and three is the, is the easiest way to write it, yes. So, Michael Fontaine okay. says one. Anyone else? Calibino, don't look at the album. Just answer. <laughs> Jay Straw, SGT colon. Criminal SGT, period. If I had to bet on it, I'd say written out. Jay Straw says three. Paul Canis says SGT, period. See, I knew there was a fourth way. I wanted to add SGT, but I didn't have SGT, period. I didn't have a fourth box. There were no frames with a fourth box. So I just kept with the style that they were going on. So, okay, a &E Coin says two, Fizzy Pop says three. Forget what happened to Hearts Club Band? I'm confused. It's there. It says, it says Hearts Club, Lonely Hearts Club Band. I'm confused. I've never seen it with Sergeant Colon. Yeah, I know. There's, there's residue of both. That's why. Guys, it's at the bottom of the drum. There's going to be residue. You'll see it. It's there. It's there. Guys, it's still there. <laughs> I'm just talking about the sergeant right now. There you go. Zoomed in. Blank Peppers Lonely Hearts Club Band. All right, so Teresa and I were, were looking at this. <laughs> Rich feels better now. <laughs> Teresa, can you see the chat? Um, I, if I go there, I might get kicked out of StreamYard. All right. Yeah, then don't do that. Okay. I'm afraid yeah. of getting kicked out. Sorry. Yeah. That's a good find, Liminal. Guys, Peppers. Do you remember it with an apostrophe? <clears throat> I do. I remember apostrophe S. Yes. The apostrophe is gone. It's just P E P P E R S. There's no apostrophe. Nice fine preliminal. Absolutely, I agree. How about you, Teresa? Do you remember it like that? No, I don't. You don't I you just don't remember, remember a period after Sergeant. No, 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 no. no. No, no, Teresa. Pepper. Sergeant Pepper's 
Lonely Hearts Club Band. Do you remember an apostrophe S, or do you just remember Peppers with an S? Without apostrophe. Do you remember it without? Okay. Yes, without one. Yeah, and it even it should it, it technically should have an apostrophe because, as Paul Cadiff writes, it's supposed to be referring no to way. Sergeant Pepper, not Sergeant Peppers. So if his name was Peppers, there would be no apostrophe. But his name is Sergeant Pepper. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there should be an apostrophe. Wow. Yeah. Frankie Aponte says the apostrophe criminal is added again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to show the residue curious, sir? Guys, right now, all right. Number two is the current reality. It's S with tiny G and T and a colon underneath it. That's number the two is the current reality. reality. All right. Um, that's that's so weird because I remember S G T period. That's that's gotta yeah. be number. All right, um, so what's the residue? Yeah, the uh, residue is there as well as how it is now. But you also have their yellow submarine mixed in, so what should I do? Oh, yeah. you're supposed to show the second graphic, the yellow submarine graphic. I'm oh, sorry. okay. All right. Show well, the graphic first, then we're going to get to all the residue. Then we'll yeah, get because, that. That's a good idea. All right. Yeah, because that's how Flickr does it, so we might as well right. just, instead of fighting it, just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Teresa, now you're going to ask about the yellow submarine because it's just a picture. There's no words. Oh, okay. So <sighs> ask them about the yellow submarine. Okay. How do you remember the yellow submarine from the Beatles looking? Like what do color you remember? was the stripe on the side of the submarine? Yeah. Right? What color was the stripe on the submarine? What color do you remember? I mean, we do know the submarine was yellow, but it had another color with it. What color do you remember? And no peeking, anybody? Yes. <laughs> do you see the graphic of the three, the three submarines, Curious Sir? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Can you show that, please, so they can get an idea of what we're looking for? Because Michael Fontaine said blue. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna give him give him some multiple choices here. Okay. <laughs> Jose Martinez and Annie Queen says blue. No, Titan Character Speaking says green. No Get way. Get that graphic up. <laughs> yep. All right, guys, look at the ships. <laughs> what color do you remember this stripe? <laughs> yellow, red, or orangey yellow? Like a orangey color. What color? Which one do you remember? I'm not talking about the little the top one, symbol. the middle one. We're talking about the big stripe that goes through the ship. What color do you remember it? One, two, or three? Rich Fasanix says three. Mm -hmm. Three? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm waiting for other people to uh, get guesses based on the graphic. <laughs> Oops. Preliminal says one. Ravine Hawk says three. Uh -huh. One looks best, but still a little funny. Yeah, well, it's someone else's drawing. That's probably why Ramsey. So Ramsey remembers one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm sorry, preliminal. It is one of these. <laughs> Sagittarically speaking, says three. <laughs> Volcanic says three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sid, Sid McConsey, Conce. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but number three for you too. Jay Straw says one. Wow. No way. We're gonna have to look that up afterwards. Thank you, Michael Fontaine. He says this was on Jeopardy today, and the train station in what? Liverpool, England, had a blue stripe. We're gonna have to look it up, but. Preliminal, it was three. No, no. It had some yellow from one. Okay. We'll go with that if you want. I think we have enough answers. How about you guys? 
That's a lot of answers for one and three. Yes. Guys, current reality is yes. two. The one in the middle, it's red. The current reality is red. So now we can get to the mix-up residue. And, and current reality is in there as well, especially of Yellow Submarine. Yeah, number two looks wonky, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so here's residue. Yeah, that's two. how I remember it. You remember it red? Wow. No, no, Sergeant Peppers. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Peppers. I'm on a delay, I'm sorry. <laughs> on the next one. Yeah. So here's residue, uh, Sergeant Peppers for you guys. Apostrophe yeah. and a period. I would just keep moving. There's a lot of it. Okay. Keeping in mind that's 1230 here. <laughs> right. So um, there's that. That is current. That's actually not current reality. That's SG with a period <laughs> underneath. Current reality is a colon. Uh, this is SGT. Rea is that you? I can't see. It's not. I'm like one behind you. This is if I turn this sideways, <laughs> I can see better. Yes, I, I can see a little better. So that's SGT with no apostrophe and no colon. Is that a period underneath or a colon? I think that's a colon. I think that's how it is now. Yeah. It's a colon. Guys, that's current reality. S, G, T with a colon underneath it. It was not like that for me. That has no apostrophe, no period. That has both. The way we remember it. Apostrophe and a period. Okay, this is a temporary tattoo of yellow submarine. I don't know if you can zoom in on the submarine. Is this how you remember it, preliminal? A little more on the yellowy orange side? That's how I remember it. But I would still say orange, but it's a yellow, it's a more yellow orange color. We didn't know either until a couple of hours ago, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, this is an official toy. As you'll notice, the bright red stripe. It's currently red, guys. This is residue. It's the it's the ship I used as number three. This is uh, more on the yellowy side. This is the orange one. Actually, no, this one's a little more on the yellowy side with an extra stripe. I think they did it for copyright reasons. They had to change it up a little bit. That's why I put the graphic up. <laughs> There's the red. Okay, so huh? That's the official album. Uh, like the like the thing you would see in iTunes. No, I don't remember red that stripe. red stripe. No. I also don't remember the I also don't remember the red going into the, the tubes. Mm -hmm. Hey Tobin. It's it's wrong. Yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, it's red now. It's 100% red. There's no denying it. And I just covered the Back to the Future change where the orange vest is now red as well. So this is now a pattern going from orange to red. Right. We're, we're still looking into it, Chancellor Napa. I haven't found anything yet. That's the problem. <laughs> when so we find it, we'll cover it. Orange. Don't you worry. 
It was probably orange. It was probably like this. It was no. Yeah, it was I a, remember it was yellow. I with, and orange stripes. I yeah, that's from Esther Anders. Uh, her toy is now red as well. If you look at the actual toy, it's got a red stripe. Oh, it's red. And, okay. Yeah, it's red. Yeah. That's just her picture's a little yellowy. Yeah. But it's definitely, okay. She said it's a red stripe. Now yeah. and it wasn't. Yeah, that really stands out too with the album. Okay, we're next. Which, which no one next? Uh, let's see, Teresa. You still there? Yep, I'm here. Go ahead. Okay. What do we, um, what's next? <laughs> uh, we'll go to the residue folder because there's only four images okay. in there, and fi I think Fizzy's still here. Yeah. Is this? Is she in the group still? Chat. She well, I think she is. I saw her in there. If you want to just go in order, there's four images. So I drew this, um, the top image. It's very hard to find residue for Italy the way I remember it. And it's easier to see it compared to how it is now. I remember it more pointing south. South was Sicily. South was uh, the boot. And now south is the entire side of the boot, the west side is now south. And obviously the, everybody's talked about the boot being thinner now and being like a high heel. The islands were smaller for me. That's how I remember Italy. I can't find it, so I drew it. And I just wanted to know if anybody remembered it like I do. Criminal remembers it like I do. Yeah, <laughs> going going more straight up and down. like yeah, going Straight up and down, yes. Yeah, smaller islands. Bigger Strait of Gibraltar, bigger boot. Hmm. Okay, okay Ramsey's with me too. That's good. Teresa, you remember it like I do, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, Teresa, this is your residue. You want to talk about it? Back to the Future one? Yeah, uh, Family Guy. Yeah, um, well, there's a couple residues on there. First of all, he's supposed to represent um, Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Uh -huh. And if you look at him now, his long sleeve top is all denim. And then when you look yeah. at the movie, Back to the Future, his jacket has changed completely. Like, you would have to look at a new... A new um, I wish there was a way you could bring a picture up on... Um, but you can't. It. Oh, I, I, I don't have it now for them to look at it. I would have included it. I didn't think about it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. we'll just say right now, Marnie McFly's jacket is two tone denim, mm. darker and lighter yeah. denim. And, and, um, what are you bringing up? <laughs> okay. Um, did you want to talk about the car too? Is the, is the car significant here? Um, I don't remember a Jeep. I remember a back of a truck for Back to the you Future. Like a, what do like you a remember? Truck? Yeah, like he's holding on to the back of it, like with the beds right. down, you know, like the bed of the truck. But yeah, not showing it in a buggy, Jeep. But, but I wanted to ask the chat and, and Curiouser. What do you the guys color. remember when when Marty is fought, like holding on to the the car on his skateboard? Do you remember him holding on to it like a dune buggy style jeep, or do you remember him holding on to a pickup truck? What do you guys remember from Back to the Future? Is it just one, or was it two with the hoverboard too? A truck. You remember a pickup truck? Yeah, me too. I'm waiting to see if anybody in the chat answers. Brody Brodell has a dual memory. He remembers both. Wow. Jose yeah. Martinez remembers a truck. Now, interesting, Guardian Matrix says Jeep 1985, <coughs> truck 1955. Whoa. And that could be why we're having dual memories on that. Jay Straw says truck. Paul Caniff says pickup truck. Johnson Trippin says truck. There you go. 
That's pretty awesome. Okay, you want to go? Uh, Michael Fontaine says, do you, do you want to go to the next image? I think this one's, no, Fizzy's is last. Okay. And Guardian, mm -hmm. uh, Antonio Lugo says, I'm a Guardian Matrix on this one. Birdie Birdell says, Jeep. Okay, Teresa, now you wear your Marty McFly residue with the, with the shirt. Can you zoom into his shirt, Teresa? Are you able to? Mm. You yeah, have to go all the way in. That's good. That's good. That's good. Teresa, why don't you talk so, about Marty McFly's shirt? So the shirt he's wearing underneath the vest, what color do you remember the checkered shirt being? Like, there was two colors. What color do you remember it? Gee, um, going back to like Sandy, do you what do you remember? Well, you want to give them multiple choice that way we don't get like greens and purples and stuff <laughs> <clears throat> like black, blue, or tan. Do you remember his the checkered part being black, blue, or tan? Yes, it was an orange vest. Yes, <laughs> and Teresa found the orange vest and he's wearing just a denim jacket, like I remember. No dark color on the top, on the sleeves. Beautiful picture, Teresa. Beautiful residue. Randy Haver. Or Haver. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? A or A? I don't want to just pronounce the name. We'll just, just say Ramsey. Don't you dare. <laughs> Ramsey is saying chartreuse. <laughs> Okay, Teresa, are you ready? Yes, I am. I was just waiting for you. Variable says both. I guess they're they're still on truck and Jeep. So Guardian Matrix says mm -hmm. blue. Sagittarically speaking says blue. Haver, thank you, Ramsey. Um, no problem. And Paul Caniff says blue. Anyone else? Antonio Lugo says blue. See, here's the thing, guys. I kind of remember what Teresa remembers. I'm kind of pulling a duel on this. Like, I, I said blue. And then when she found this image, this image is tan, and it looks right. So now I don't know. I have to kind of agree with Teresa. That's, that looks right to me. What do you remember, Curie, sir? Yeah, that does look right. And mine's a, it looks right, and that's tan. It's foggy. Yeah, I don't really remember. I have to admit, but uh, that looks right. Yeah, mm -hmm. believable. You know, but uh, I, I can't say that I know. Have a good night, Ravine. Thanks <clears throat> for being here. Ravine's leaving. She's going to bed. Good night. <laughs> All right. Lisa? Teresa. Teresa. Yes. <laughs> okay. Teresa, we're going to talk about the Tin Man and then you can go to bed, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I've been, it's a, I've been right. sick for the last week or two. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. We understand. But we're going to talk about the Tin Man first, then I need you here for this, okay? Okay. Just for the beginning, just to, you know. Oh, wait, you're for me. You're crediting Fizzy Pop for... Oh, we have one more picture. I'm sorry. Yes, Fizzy, if you're still here, thank you. Fizzy was Fizzy plays The Sims. And her Sim started talking about the Monopoly Man. <laughs> Check out that monocle, well, guys. Good job, Fizz. There you go. All right. Really good. Mm -hmm. No, Guardian Matrix. It is currently blue. Teresa remembers tan. All right, um, that's the last image in the folder, right? Yeah. All right, before we lose Teresa for good, can we please go to the Tin Man folder? I'm here. Because somebody made a video today, and <clears throat> my effects <throat> that I was going to present on Monday. It should be up further. You're, you're at the last show. There it is on the right. There you go. All right, guys. There's three changes to the Tin Man that I saw. 
someone else found um, a recent change with the collar. That's not what I'm talking about. Someone did a video today with one of my changes. I made these graphics like four days ago. But anyhow, which Tin Man do you remember? One, two, or three, guys? Which one looks right to you? And I'm going to point out what's different, okay? The first one, he does not have that strap going up his head with the rivets. He just has rivets randomly across his head. The second one has no rivets. And the third one has the bar with the rivets. So do you remember no bar, no rivets at all, or bar with rivets? One, two, or three. Teresa, what do you remember? I remember number two. You remember number two? Three. I have a duel of three. two and three. Okay. Three. Me, three. I'm sorry. I, three. I have a... I have a duel of two and three. I don't remember these rivets so much. No. Curious, or can you zoom in on one, two, and three so they can see those images really closely? I don't know if it's possible if you can do that. Like, really focus on one with the rivet. Like, it looks like he has pimples on his head, guys. Guys, like, I don't know if you remember the Tin Man with pimples on his head. No. That's what it looks like. He has it in the between his eyes. He has one. Actually, not in this image. But... You can see that there's no bar. It's just rivets on his head. The second one has the bar, no rivets at all showing. And the third one has the bar going up the head that the jaw connects to with rivets. So far, we have one, one-ish, three, one, 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 two, one, three, two. That hole in the nose, yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, we don't remember the hole in the nose either. Yeah, that I know. I know, Brody. I found that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get to that. So the next image... There you go. They're a little out of order. So the next image is showing the bar on the side of the... Oh, you can go to the next image. because um, I, I separated the residue by each effect. <clears throat> showing, this one is showing no bar on the side of the face or bar on the side of the face. I can't see. Yeah. I think this has the bar on the side of the face. So that's an official Wizard of Oz clock. An official Wizard of Oz mug. And a lot of these don't have... I don't think any of these have rivets on them either. Yeah. The rivet free. No, it's okay. You didn't know. Because we canceled Mandela Monday. And then somebody else came out with a video today. And they could have found it on their own, but, well, there's also something happened, which makes me think that that's not the case. So we're going to zoom out here. That is a statue of the Tin Man. And that's the actual Tin Man. Notice there's no rivets on the Tin Man's face. That's a, from a promotional picture with um, Judy Garland and the Scarecrow. And I who played the Scarecrow. There's no rivets on that man's face at all. And that's actually him. But there's also no bar going up his head. And I remember the bar. And then um, there's other images with no rivets on his head. I'm waiting till we get to the graphic where I show you the three changes. We're not there yet. Of course, this is totally wrong order. Okay, so now, guys, um, can we skip this to the next image? Because it's not going to make sense until we get the next image. Here we go. All right, guys. That is him. The image on the left is him. And you can see the pimple-looking rivets with no bar. You can see the pimple in the middle of the forehead. On the side, the top image is the close-up of those weird rivets that I don't remember. He is blue eyeshadow now. I do not remember blue eyeshadow on him at all. It looks ridiculous to me. It's not extra colorized. I have so much residue to do with this blue eyeshadow. If you remember this blue eyeshadow, say yes in the chat because I do not remember blue eyeshadow. And the third image is, is the, the one on his nose. So those were the three changes I found last week. 
that I was going to cover on Mandela Monday before we um, had to cancel the show. So if you can go back to the blue eyeshadow picture that we, uh, right there. These are people drawing the Tin Man who clearly remember the blue eyeshadow. And this is showing the bar on the side of the face. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm getting to it. <clears throat> hold on. No, it's okay. Yeah, no, take your time. Uh, the one you just is. showed, yeah, that's the blue eyeshadow one. I mean, we have jewelry, we have mugs, we have drawings. People remember the blue eyeshadow. There's even a tattoo. Just in case this person comes for me saying that I stole it from them. There you go. Proof I was talking about the, dot, the pimple on the nose on January 20th. This video came out today. Just in case I got my proof. That's all. I'm not copying off of anybody. I found this on my own. That's all. Just wanted to have that in there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the blue eyeshadow and the dots. Uh, he always had a bar connecting his jaw to his face for me. Otherwise, the jaw, the jaw is just floating. It, it would fall off on a tin man. He needed something to attach it to the head. He always had the bar for me. It was always number three. And now he doesn't. And he's just got random rivets on the side of his head, which look like pimples. And in, or, and between his nose. They weren't there for me. Those are my tin man changes. And Teresa, go to bed, honey. Mm -hmm. I think she's already there. Go to bed. It's okay. Mm. We're done. I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone. It's okay. Did you finish presenting this? Mm hmm Huh? Yeah, we're good. You okay. go to bed. You covered all your okay. stuff. Go to bed. You're I good. apologize again to everybody. Good night, I, like I said, I've been... <laughs> all right. Okay, good, good night, night okay, guys. Just, just get better. You need rest. Go get your rest. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night, um, Trisha and um, Sandy, thank you. Sure. Good night. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, right. so thank night. you for staying as long as you did. Good night. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. <clears throat> well, I hope she feels better. Mm -hmm. God, I'm worried about her eyes. Yeah. Okay. You want um, to open your stuff now? Now that we did speed for trees and stuff. Okay, I can, uh, yeah, I can show some stuff now. And then, okay, uh, first of all, I wanted to show that I have, I don't know, this is an old change, but uh, uh, Monsanto, a lot of people remember that without an N. Okay, so we'll go to it. Oh, hold on. Actually, I have, it. I have it already. I have a picture right here. There it is. Okay, this is how it is now. Okay, as everyone, or a lot of you know, Monsanto. Okay, and so I wanted to show some residue I have of it being spelled with no N. Monsanto. Monsanto. What do you guys in the chat Monsanto. remember? If you know this, I, I don't drink, so I really don't. This is wine, right? Oh, Santa. No, this is the, um, this is the, um, pesticides. <laughs> oh, it's pesticide. That's even worse. Yeah, I've never they're, even heard they're of it. a big company that, uh, sprays in, um, let me see, like, uh, seed sellers. Yeah, that's right. And, okay. and no, it's, I just it's saw, like, the vineyard, and I assumed it was like, wine. Um, <laughs> let's see, a lot of the GMOs and all. People don't like Monsanto. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, so there's that. And here's some more residue um, of how it was spelled. So, okay, yeah, there, stop Mons Mons Monsanto. And I, I remember it with no N, but yet it, I'm trying to... You know, pronounce it that way. I can't. It's hard to remember. Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah, Monsanto. Thank you. That's how it was pronounced then. Oh. And now it's they just added an N, so everyone, you know. Well, so far. Another name, and so. Everyone in the chat remembers the N. So far, we have A E coins, Paul Cannon, Jay Straw, Sagittarius speaking. 
And Monsanto is here. Hey, Rich. Rich Sanic says, I'm glad you don't drink pesticides, Sam. <laughs> I'm glad I don't drink pesticides, too. <laughs> this is in a, a funny one. And this is one of those ones where it's both. See, one, one up here and then one up here spellings, you know. Yeah. The hallmark of the Mandela, yeah. Those are so <laughs> weird, yeah. So that's more residue of that. Okay, have fun, Brody. Um, Brody's going to walk his dog, and then he'll be back. Okay, and here's another one. And um, so I'm to share that. Okay. Um, I wanted to share the um, United States Postal Service. Look at those A's. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Did you look up how, how long ago it changed? I know it changed for me um, a long time ago, but mm -hmm. not like how long ago. I, I, I don't remember how long ago it changed. Yeah, I, I remember it. It probably I'm gonna look. changed, but I then I forgot and I remembered it again, so I thought I'd put, throw it in. Um, I'm gonna look right now because I think it's gonna the year is gonna blow people away. <clears throat> yeah, 1993. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, guys, the logo has been like that since '93. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not. That is not. That was not a thing in the '90s. The 90s had some weird stuff. Don't get me wrong. But they didn't have triangles for A's. Yeah, I know. No, that does, that was not for the night. No. Nobody would have liked that. <laughs> okay. Yes, Two. please, Damien G. I'm sorry. Damien G. Yeah. Ha has recreated the actual map of Italy, mm -hmm. like my drawing, and wants to send it. Send it to me on Facebook Messenger, and I'll forward it to Curiouser, and we will share it. All right, I might as well show the residue I have for, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this man. His name's Carl Benz. He's a German engineer. Mercedes-Benz guy? Yeah, people remember his name was... His name was spelled with a C instead of a K. Carl Benz. Really? So I, got the here. I, got this I believe word. it, but for me, German, always K. Always a K in German for me. But I believe it was to C for other people. Oops, sorry. And here's a little more residue of that. Okay, and let's see. Here's a completely horizontal rainbow, which I thought was interesting. Wow. Isn't that weird? I'm mean, a horizontal, crazy. vertical, not horizontal, vertical. Vertical. But yeah, it's, it, you're, I mean, you're used to seeing them going across the sky, or rounded and everything, and, and then there's that. So, and then let's see what else do we have? I uh, want to share the uh, fug fugalite. Tell me if you all ever heard of fugalite. Okay, this is <laughs> this is really weird. Lightning hits sand and it makes these. Okay, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this. In fact, I'll look it up right now. Yeah, I've never heard of it until you told me, and it's, yeah. it's crazy. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is what lightning does when it strikes the sand, and it makes these, okay? These funny things. that you can actually capture and keep and, you know, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Here, it's it's hitting beaches and everything. Uh, the, the 
you know, it's like, where was this all this time, all this, all my life, you know? <laughs> I don't It's remember. just the, the, the size and the strangeness of it. I mean, they make jewelry out of it. See the ring? Yeah, they, they have a, they, there is a, a museum. I have a picture here. There's an actual museum somewhere with just that with a whole bunch of them sand okay there's so this has been a you know been around for a long time and um rare lightning fused sand never heard of it and then little balls and, you know, let's see, this is, uh, the heck is that? The Thunderbolts Project. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, a little jewelry, figurite, uh, figurite, figurite, jewelry, fossilized lightning sand okay wow and this is uh this is what lightning does sphere hmm. okay I just so I forwarded the images the image to you right after you're one? done the uh, Damien G's image of Italy, way he remembers it, the way I also remember it, but the boot isn't as, as thick, but other than that, it's pretty darn good. Okay, and I wanted to share this um, also. There are now... Let's see, uh, glowing rocks. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> do they just always glow, or do they have to be like charged by the sun? Do you know anything about that? Mm, let's see, they're called uh, Euprolites. If you ever want to look them up look up uprolites because you can't just put in glowing rocks that won't work all right i'll go ahead and and search that uprolites have you guys ever heard of a uprolites or uprolite Oh, I'm sending more images to you. Okay, here they are, the gl <clears throat> glowing rocks. They just glow. Mm. Which is weird. I, apparently some of them look like lava and everything. <laughs> natural. These are, are natural. natural. They're not man-made or anything. <clears throat> they're probably they're probably in Pennsylvania. I think I read something. <laughs> they're in Pennsylvania. No. Yeah, I think they are. Well, uh, I, uh, to be fair, I've never been west mm -hmm. uh, in Pennsylvania. I've never been west of like maybe one third of the state. I've been west of, but not west in Pennsylvania. Uh huh. Okay. Amy Coin says they have a low amount of uranium in them that causes them to glow under UV light. Ask them where they're from or where their location is. It's going to be. Um, 
Yeah, if you know <laughs> where they're from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I didn't really look into it too much, but I know it was. Um, oh, Annie Queen says everywhere. Okay, everywhere. Thank they you. They can be found everywhere. And Ramsey, I did answer you, but mm. I missed it just in the, in the, of the chat. Huh? Oh, mm. Ramsey is asking if I'm from Philly or Jersey. I'm from Jersey, but I live in Philly now. Go rock hunting. <laughs> All right. This is crazy. So they're they're just, just, but see, that's, I mean, if they're glowing like that on the dark rock, <laughs> like it's uh, sunset, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. yeah, I know. They're, can you imagine? I, if I saw that one of those, I think they're unreal, man made, you know, um, with glow and stuff. But okay, where do you want to go to next? Go to your Chanel folder. Okay, um, sure. Oh, wait, wait, actually, before you go to the Chanel folder, I sent you images from Damien G. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, hold on. <clears throat> there should be three images. Three maps. Oh. Okay. I'm coming. Damien, right. here? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks right to me, yeah. Look at that, that's perfect. <laughs> yep, it is. It's not it's... kicking anymore. Yep, that, that looks right. Definitely. Um... <laughs> Hey, look at South America, too. Yeah. South America's still a little far. That, that's not the part that was uh, redone. He, he redid Italy. And, and um, oh, actually, it is. South America is further over. South America was even further west than that for me. Not much farther, but a little bit more. Wow, I swear up. it's changed yeah, again. They're, they're, they're closed up. Wow. That's a nice map. Have everything like moved it. around. What is that? Yeah. This is like a copy of, of where we were, where, where we are now. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, it's a Photoshop like, recreation. It, it's like nice. somebody did a half fast job, you know. <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I remember half of it. <laughs> so Some of it's slightly different than what I remember. See, like I was saying. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was, I was, I was on Mark uh, Frewing's. I keep saying Frewing's. Fewing's um, live stream yesterday. And it was the day before. My days are all running together. I think... I did say it on, on this show before that I think we are on an earlier earth, an earlier point in time. And our continents are the way they are because they're closer to being Pangea because we haven't drifted far enough. Or they haven't drifted far enough, which is why Italy is closer to the mainland and why the rock of Gibraltar yeah, but how do you know it's not a future Earth where it drifts the other, you know, a different way? Well, that would it would be drifting back to to Pangaea then. Mm. They're moving closer together, so I remember stuff further apart. Yeah, I know, but so I that's why I think we're in a an earlier point because we're we're closer to Pangaea, which is the past. And I think that's what happened to the North Pole. I think it merged with uh, Greenland. And that's why Greenland is humongous. Because it's also the North Pole. The landmass that's missing merged into Greenland. 
so how did we get to a past Earth with all the, I don't know, um, I don't know. I it's the only thing that makes sense to me why continents would be so far off. Huh. Yeah, it could be that it, the Earth could be smaller, but the thing is, certain things move while others don't. Some things are moved and some aren't. Some things are bigger. Like I said, Greenland is bigger than it should be. It's not that it looks bigger because it's on a smaller Earth. It is bigger. That's why I think it has to do with more the drift than the size. Yeah. <clears throat> That's really interesting. Dean Johnson finds messages in all the changes. And this one, it says, the disciples said, tell us how our end will be. Jesus said, have you discovered then the beginning? Then you look for the end. For where the beginning is, there will the end be. So when we hit, when, when the continents uh, merge to Pangea, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I have a question. For the people who would say the Earth was smaller, uh -huh. has anyone ever looked into flight times? I mean, you have to adjust for faster engines and things like that. But, like, flight times in the past, like, going from the same points? Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that would be interesting to search. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, again, we, we have to calculate differences for engine and speed of airplanes and things like that. But I'm sure someone could figure out who's smart enough. I am not a math person. I cannot figure that stuff out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard any stories about, like, changing times of flights. Mm -hmm. But it would be interesting to look up. You know, maybe uh, I just haven't looked, researched that. I, I just know I, I you know large flights you know large how like how long does it take to get to australia isn't that like a long 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 yeah it's a long long flight like 18 or 24 hours it's long it's long okay all right so, so how long did that take in 1965 or how long yeah. even, even 1995 how long did that take in 1995 you know what i'm saying or 2000 even because really we didn't start noticing this stuff until after 2010 maybe for me it wasn't until after 2016 but some i've heard people go back 2010 even like 20 2006 so if we even look at 2000 flight times compared to now i wonder if we find any discrepancies and this one was photoshopped by yours truly <laughs> You photoshopped this one? No, yours truly. Oh, so. oh by yours truly. <laughs> okay. I see it there. I yeah. just said, I thought it was Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yours truly. All right. That was interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. They're so great. Let's so go. Do your Chanel that. folder. Okay. Yeah. So I. Everything's in there. I I uh, I had discovered this a long time ago, and it seemed like nobody really cared. <laughs> okay, so oh, I made you a graphic. That's what I meant in Flickr. I made you a Flickr folder. Right. All right, let me just just show everybody what it is now. Okay, see Chanel number. Oh, well, that was five. the thing that the graphic is a question which one they think it is. So you oh, okay. The, well, yeah. let's that and um well yeah let's go to the folder because that that would that would have it and then we can go back to mine if i have anything you know no different. all your stuff is in my folder already it's all in there all you right sent to me last night <laughs> oh yeah yeah 
Oh, good. All right. So let's go to the graphic. Okay, which is the iconic Chanel perfume, left or right? Which one do you guys remember, left or right? Variable says Chanel number five. David Cooks is left. Chanel or channel number five, so left. <laughs> <laughs> I know, some of you remember two ends. Yeah, the name hasn't changed for me. And I'll tell you guys, I lived in Paris, so you're really bombarded with these kind of names. And so that I know the name has not changed for me anyway, but that's in my reality. So. Just no. Variable says 110% left. Brody Brodell left. Jose Martinez left. Variable says big one for me. a &E Coin says right. Helen Skygazer the Frosty. Hey, Ch uh, Chanel number five. So left, I'm assuming. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Yeah most, yeah, most people left. All right, so... Um, Wow, well, that's great. Yeah, okay, I left. Oh, we're still we're still we're still getting the still getting some them coming in. Yep. It, it was left for me as well. Yeah. So it, it, the the right is the how it is now. This is. The number five is on top of the Chanel, which is not right at all. N never do I remember that. Remember, <clears throat> I said I, I lived in Paris, so I remember Chanel was always in front of, ever was on top of everything. Every product they, they would sell it was always the Chanel on top. And then you say Chanel number five, so it was Chanel number five. And it was in that order right there on the left is what i remember so the residue was not not easy but we we're looking around and we found some things and this is i found this is a vintage uh with the chanel number five at the at the, you know underneath chanel okay and um there's another one this is a good one there's chanel and the, did you find this sandy no, you found that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chanel number five at the bottom, underneath Chanel on the box, but over here, of course, on the other way. Um, and okay, Chanel number five underneath in the soap bar. Okay, and. Chanel number five, just saying Chanel number five is how it's pronounced too, which is, that was Andy Warhol. This is Chanel number five at the bottom of Chanel underneath. Uh, okay. Chanel number five. Uh, Chanel number five. Okay, and here's, what was this again, Sandy? The At the top, oh, that's, they, they it was a, a Chanel wedding and they did their table, place the table markers in the style of Chanel number five. So they had table number one. They okay. did the same way as the uh, bottle. Okay, wow. They, they wouldn't want to do that wrong. No, otherwise it would have been number one table, number two table, you know? Yep. Chanel number five. That's a knockoff brand. Oh, <clears throat> and the other bottle, the, the more beautiful bottle. <laughs> Rhinestones was a knockoff. Mm. 
Good. Chanel and then five underneath. There's a lot of residue for it, so. Well, it wasn't easy, was it? I mean, we were looking and looking. But yeah, but it it yeah. wasn't a, it wasn't a hard one either. Like there there are some hard ones, like really hard ones. It wasn't mm -hmm. hard, but it wasn't like super easy either. Mm hmm. And it's a Chanel bag, like really. Chanel number five. Oops. Chanel number five. Chanel number five. See? Right underneath. Yeah, I love that. That's a book. Mm hmm. Chanel number five. Number five underneath. And again, it's a Chanel shirt. Mm hmm. Chocolate number five. <laughs> <laughs> there is a chocolate no there's a there's a chocolate um uh cologne or something mm -hmm. yeah weird okay yeah. well and then uh let's see if i have any more um oh and i was gonna also mention the snail polish is all wrong the snail was always on top on the very top above and see how this is way below. That doesn't look familiar to me at all. And I've, I've just seen a lot of the makeup products for them. And it's just weird. I've never seen your nail polish before. And um, this is a uh, kind of residue again. This is the Talic number no. 5 by Chanel. See, that would have been on, Chanel would have been on top. But it would still, you know fact that the number five is below is um, that's a vintage product I don't know but um, okay that's how it is now um, that's how it is now Let's see if I have, okay I think that, that that's it and now I wanted to mention too that um, this has changed too. This um, eternity was never way up on top. This was, in my reality, the eternity in all the perfumes was towards the middle. More, it was it wasn't straight up on top. In Calvin Klein, it was. I agree. At all. Damien G. Damien G. Saying the same exact thing as you. Okay. So yeah, I, I agree with that. It was like one, I wouldn't say in the middle, I would say one third down. Yeah. Like if you exactly. put the bottle in the threes, it would be one third down. Towards the middle, right. but not in the middle. Yeah. Which is yes. More that way. I know, because I like that perfume. And and also the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, St. Saint Laurent logo has changed. It's going vertically. It used to go horizontally for me. I don't know about you guys. But this is hard to Photoshop, so I couldn't do anything to show it. But it's um, I, I can't even remember vertically. They were they were off, they were layered over each other somehow. That is just hard to remember. It was going horizontally, and now it's just totally vertically. So that's completely changed for me. That uh, logo. Um, yeah. For me, I think it was a little more diagonal than it was uh -huh. vertical. Okay. Hmm. Now it's okay. like a jumbled mess. <laughs> I know. It's like a jumbled mess because they're all on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it showed, just showed the full folder too and mine. No. So oh, of yours. Okay. Oh, I, I have now, yeah. Anders. I was hoping Esther about, was going to be here today, but she's, I don't see her. Um, can you go to the, yes, to the, um, how about Mona Lisa? The, should we do that? Okay, we can do Mona Lisa. Or is, this, is she even there? 
No, she's not here, but I'm still going to present it for her. Okay. So that way she can post it. It's okay, Sia. It's my cow almost fell off the bed. We'll get Sorry. to that. Maybe she'll pop in. Who knows? Um, yeah. Just uh, I know it's really late, everyone. Or early, pretending, or depending on where you are. Depending. Um, all right, I'm getting tired too, but um, let's this go. This is going to be an odd one. This is an, this is a major change this, for me to the Mona Lisa guys, but it's very hard to see at first. So, one, two, or three, everyone. Is the Mona Lisa's hair straight, wavy, or curly? One, two, or three. That's nice. I like that. Curious, do you see the chat? Ramsey says, This is the late show. It's curiouser. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good. Uh, I like that. I like it. <sighs> okay, loyalty makes you family, says one. Hey, <laughs> just sneaking in here. Brody Brodell says two. Yes, I do sell coins. I know it wasn't curly. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> two I think is variable. Anybody else want to take a stab at the Mona Lisa's haircut? Used to be straight hair, Rich Hassanic says. <laughs> straight, says Ramsey. Annie Coin says two. David Cook, too, maybe. Caramel, he says, I would say, too. Okay. So, um, number three is the answer now. She's curly how hair. It is, how it is now, huh? Yeah, she has curly hair. I know hair is shorter to make up for those <laughs> curls. Because when Can your you hair is curly, it shrinks higher. Jeez. Yeah, way. We're going to show you. So, it's Smiling hard to see here. But you can see, if you look to the left of her face, you can see the wave, the bump, 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 bump of her hair. Oh, yeah. On the right, see. at the bottom, actually all the way down, I can see it, but especially at the bottom, you can see the, um, the spirals of her hair. Her hair is curly now, guys. And we have drawings of people drawing it where you can see it even better. So don't you worry. If you can't see it in, in the original image, you will see it coming up. So there's one of the, the illustrations now showing the hey, curls. It looks like she's smiling less in this one. She does, but I'm more concerned about wow. the hair, her hair being like four I know, and just too short. But it could be double residue right there. It could be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, but her hair is still curly in this. So what? which one is yeah. what it? It's curly, yeah. So you're showing that it's curly in this one? Yeah, yeah. It's easier to see there than it is in the oh, actual. Okay. Thing. It, that's yeah, not that's right. Why it, I, it? But it is kind of of her mouth and her eyes. That's weird. All right. Her hair looks like look a new look style to me now. All right. Look at her mouth in this one and her eyes. Okay. And then look at this one. This this one looks more like the old one. So that's all I'm, I'm saying. It's still, they're both still smiling too much for me. Both yeah. Of them really. But it is a little bit better. You're absolutely right. That's the larger image, just so people can see it from far away. It's the same, same drawing. It's amazing how once something changes, it's constantly changing. It doesn't stop. Yeah. I know. This is just funny, but it was like me trying to find someone actually stuck her face. I didn't do this. I found this online. And we were saying how it looks like um, Jennifer Grey now. <laughs> but the thing is, they remember her hair that curly. Here's some residue of straight hair. Yeah. I remember. Right. Like there may have been a little bit of wave at the bottom. A little, but yeah. Her hair was mostly straight for me. Had a little body to it, but <laughs> like people remember her hair curly, and it's blowing my mind. Like, no, she did not have curly hair. 
No, I couldn't you believe can't. how much I found with people remembering curly hair. Yeah, her hair was past her shoulders, and now it's it's literally touching and above her shoulders. It's insane to me. Someone did a, a 3D sculpture of her with the slightly wavy straight hair. That is what I remember. Yeah. That is, it was even a little bit straighter than that. Mm. It wasn't real noticeable like that. Paul Canis says it's, it's been curly for a decade for him. Oh my goodness, no. This just happened for me. Someone recreated her painting with straight hair. What could that be a message of when Mona Lisa starts to smile? What'd that mean? She knows something we don't know. That look <laughs> in her eye bothers me more than her smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So weird. There you go. It's a little straighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a different drawing. <laughs> that's a tattoo of straight hair. I don't mean to laugh, but it just looks like somebody's face is... You'd see oh, no, that is actually that is actually someone doing her makeup to make herself look like the Mona Lisa, <laughs> and she kept straight hair for the uh -huh. photo. Wow, she did a good job. Maybe she's she's out there, Mona Lisa, somewhere, <laughs> walking around smiling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, and that is actually the image that's underneath the. Oh, go back one minute. Okay. It's going. Okay. Um, that one. That is the image that was found underneath the Mona Lisa. I noticed the hair. It's straight. Yeah. And that's them remembering curly hair. I can't believe how many people remember curly hair. Mm-hmm. Oh. I sure don't. I don't at all. And there she is. The original painting. Yeah, it's too curly. <laughs> okay. You left out my little tiny dumb residue of that, but I, I'll I'll put it up anyway. I'll show it to you. I, I grabbed everything. I just missed it. I'm sorry. That's right. But I, I found this and uh it kind of looks like her hair is pretty straight in this one too. Oh yeah. I thought that was in the folder. And yeah, that's, that's all really right. straight. That it's looks more I know it's hard to see, but that's that smile looks more like what I remember. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't a, even a, you couldn't really call it a smile, you know, in a way. No, it wasn't a smile at all. That's how it was. Okay, good. Um, yeah. I, I don't think I have much left except for maybe Esther. Okay. Let's see. I, I'm going to check my folders just to be sure. Yeah, the only. No, I do. I have another one before. There's actually two more before I turn. I have two more and then Esther. Okay, so which one do you want to go to next? Let's do Ico Ico because this one's confusing to me. I'm confused as to why so many people remember the current reality. So that is 80 song, Ico Ico. 
Um, it was also, re well, it's an 80s song with Cindy Lauper. It was originally recorded by the Dixie Cups. And they apparently stole it from somebody else. Someone's grandfather. But anyway, um, my grandma told your grandma, I'm going to set blank blank on fire. What do you remember? If you know the song. Any coin says your flag. Anyone else? <clears throat> That's okay if you don't know the song. I honestly haven't heard it in like 30 years. <laughs> so it's okay, I understand. That's what I was thinking, Danny. <laughs> Can't recall. It's okay. Um, your flag feels right, Guardian Matrix said. It feels so wrong to me. That is the current reality. It is your flag. Interestingly, Teresa and Brian both remember it like I do. I think I have and a dual memory on this. And you have a dual memory. Yeah, a dual memory. This night, says Brody Verdell, you got half of what I remember. I didn't find residue for night, though. Now they're just guessing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I remember. I don't remember anything about a flag. I don't even remember yours. I remember I'm going to set this place on fire, and so does Teresa and Brian and a duel from Curiouser, and all the residue I found. And I also have residue of something else, but no one said it. I just grabbed it just in case someone said it. See, it's grandma, it's not flag boy. There are, there are, wait, I will say that there are different versions of this song. And they all have different words to them. They're not all the same. You are close, Rody. Again, I remember this place. I'm going to set this place on fire. And so do other people. All right, so someone said, I'm going to set your house on fire. That's kind of violent. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, in case someone said it, I grabbed it as residue. <laughs> And Paul Can, if you're a world, I don't know if I, I may have residue of that. I'm not sure. But at least none of you remember your house. <laughs> it's all it's basically on Twitter. It's very hard to find lyric residue not written out by somebody else. Variable says, click, this place sounds right. Yes. All right, so this person remembers this fire, my grandma, and so does this one. It's okay, they, they all remember this fire. It's about cultural burning. We need to set this place on fire. Set your world on fire. There you go, your world on fire. There it is. I thought, there you go, Paul Canif. There's residue for you. Set your world on fire. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I saved it. <laughs> I love setting fires, but setting a house on fire again. Again, I grabbed it in case someone remembered it. Because two people remembered setting a house on fire. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> extreme. I'm going to set your place on fire. There's a lot of different memories on this song. But 100% it was, for me, it was this place on fire. So this comment is from 2005 and it says the song is Ico Ico by Cindy Lauper. My grandma and your grandma sitting by the fire. My grandma told your grandma 
I'm going to set this place on fire. And that's exactly what I remember. Yeah. She sings your flag now. But it, but it's, yeah. I've oh, they sing your place now. On the radio and stuff, and it says flag. Or she says flag. Yeah, yeah she sings flag now. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of this place. Different ones. Yeah, they're all different. And then um, the next folder would be War Games. And we'll do Esther's last in case she jumps in. Maybe she's working late. It's up. It's above Beatles. Above the Beatles, which is next to your perfume. There you go, it's green right there. All right, guys, this is a dual thing. Um, we have merging letters and we have a word change. And I want to ask you which one you remember. Do you remember War Games or War Games with a capital G like an iPod or an iPad or an iPhone? War Games, one word with a G. Left or right, guys? What do you remember? Or one or two, whatever you want to put. I love this movie. <laughs> so Paul Panis says two. Loyalty makes you family says one. I'm going by one and two on the on the blocks, not the amount of words. So Paul Canis says we'll say right, and then Wilty Makes You Family says left. Brody Rodell says left. Karen Maloney says war, so I guess left. Brody Rodell says <laughs> every option possible. <laughs> Karen Maloney says left. That works. Curious, sir, what do you remember? Left. Left? No doubt. Well, they both look off probably because they're merged. <laughs> like when we zoom in, when we see this logo, you're going to see that the A and the R is merged. The G-A-M-E-S is all one word. It's wrong. Anyone else want to guess what it was? Brody Burdell first was, I got you, that. <laughs> How are we lagging? Is, are we lagging or is it Bubbles connection, guys? Is it blurry or lagging for you guys? Can you zoom in on the War Games pictures a little bit? That way they can see the logos. Now, the logos are old. They, they are a little blurry. But as you can see, I do not remember them merged like that. Bubbles, I'm sorry. It's probably your connection. All right. You want to go to the stuff? Like, oh, it is currently uh, the right one. It is currently one word, War Games, with a capital G. I remember two words. Me too. Same. So this is the War There you zone. go. War Games, two words. Inspired, Yeah. I find that interesting that Inspire President Reagan takes cybersecurity seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aliens. Okay, we're, uh, I can't even see it yet. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm um, sorry, Night Movie War Games. This is a movie website. Like, they should know their stuff. Oops, what happened? Where are you? I don't know. It just switched on me all by itself. Okay. There we well, go. That's NP guys, NPR says it's two words. Now, here we get to the interesting stuff. This is Amazon. The book is showing one word, but they write two words. 
Oh, that's actually a, a VHS. I'm sorry. It's got the same cover of the, as the book. Well, one of the books. There's multiple editions with different cover art. The NPR was in there twice, or you went backwards? Huh? What? Oh, no. I asked if the NPR one was in there twice, or did you go backwards? Oh, no. It was me. Probably, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is another, it's a, it's a poster, and it's two words. I mean, one word, but two words over there in the description. And it might be easier to see the merging going on in that one since you're zoomed in. Sheesh. Yeah, look at that. Pretty soon it's gonna be one red rectangular wow. thing with a couple of holes in it. Yes. Yeah, and that's from the Atari uh, Commodore 64 cartridge <laughs> from the 80s, guys. It's always been merged like that. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Not even acceptable. No. Nope. More merging. Yeah. So weird, the GDA, the ES, the M, it's all merged. It's a, it's a mess. But there's something interesting coming up because apparently there was a remake. Are you guys aware that they remade this movie? Because I was not aware that they remade this movie. This is the original book, War Games, one word. At least it's all capital. I can go with that. But um, it does change. I've never heard of the remake either. I, I would have wanted to see it. I love this movie. I love that poster. That's the only reason why I included it. I just think it's the artwork is fantastic. Love that. Whoever did that art, love it. I would credit them if I knew who did it. I just done a Google search. It wasn't like I got it from Deviant Art or something. Okay, so here's another version of the book, War Games, one word, merged horribly. We're eventually going to get to the remake, guys, and you'll understand why I'm, I'm concerned about it. There's a lot of images in the folder. Yeah, I know it's it's not going. I think it's slow. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's the remake. Notice it's more oh, games, one word. Oh, did it again. It I'm sorry. Hold on. Going back. Okay. Now it's it has a tagline, even though it's the exact same plot as the original movie. <clears throat> so they're making it look like it's a sequel, but it's not. If you read the description, it says the United States Department of Homeland Security is led to believe. An American teen hacker playing a terrorist attack simulator game online is a real terrorist out to destroy the United States. It's the exact same plot. But the thing is, the cover of the the DVD is two words. Yeah. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Games. But IMDB says yep. it's one word. Colon the dead the dead code. So right there, I'm confused. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah. And yeah. there's a book coming up that also is two words. There it is. There's the one of the original book editions, War Games, two words.
No, the sequel is like 2016 or something. It's it's kind of recent. You know, I'll look it up while you're showing the residue. Maybe he was. I didn't see it. I don't know. All right, so that's the PlayStation game. Also, one word, merch. It's 2008. And casting crew, that's uh, the uh, ColecoVision cartridge. Same logo. Two words, though, but it's merged. But it's two words on the Coleco. Uh, cartridge. Uh, no Tom Cruise. No one actually that I recognize. Oh, wait, man, wait, I'm sorry. Looking at the wrong thing. Matt Lanter, Amanda Walsh. I, I don't even recognize these names. It, it must have been a low budget flick. Yeah, no one's in it that I know, guys. All right, that's it for that. Yeah. You got a lot of residue. Let's go. No, I was serious. I had no idea who's in it. Tom Cruise could have been in it for all I know. I don't watch movies <laughs> anymore. I don't watch TV. But had I known this was out in 2008, I would have seen it. I loved this movie as a kid. Maybe it doesn't translate well when you're an adult. Has anyone watched it recently? Yeah, you know, sometimes movies are fantastic when you're a kid. Then you watch them again and you're like, why did I like this movie? <laughs> it's like horrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is from Esther Anders. Which tire do you remember on the DeLorean in Back to the Future 3? Left or right? Damien G says both. Can you clear both tires? Which can you clarify? Depends when. Brody Brodell says right. White walls for sure. Variable says right. Come on. Hey. I'm going to tell you that I don't remember either one. I have something else to show you. Paul Canis says left. David Cook says left. Loyalty makes you family, says left. Wow, people are pretty sure, and they, they have different memories on this. This is kind of crazy. Ramsey ha Haver says left. I wanted to make sure I was saying it right. <laughs> Karen Maloney said, oh, good, I don't remember either one. <laughs> Yay. Well, that doesn't mean that what I remember is what you remember either. <laughs> But um, I would lean more towards the left one, not the right. Variable says, okay, Ramsey Hay versus I don't remember any red. Variable says, I remember the white walls being even bigger. Damien G, when he is going through the desert, he had the white wall tires for sure with red. Ramsey says, Karen, there were a few like that for me. What? And you remember... Which one, Carrie, sir? I have a dual memory on this. You have a dual memory? Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys <clears> that <throat> Esther does not remember the red or the white walls at all. So she's firmly left. She found this, and we found some residue of things. If you could show it. When we get to the one that I remember, I'll point it out. I remember different rims. Let's put it that way. So this is the full poster. 
and the first part obviously is, is the first part of is the first part of the movie, second part in the center, third part in the back. But interestingly enough, this same poster exists with the other tire on the back. We didn't Photoshop anything. There's just two versions of this for some. But again, if if what Damien's saying is correct, both tires are in three. That would make sense. There'd be two versions of the poster. But I've never seen the red or the white. So I'm confused. Now it makes more sense if, if it's both. And it makes more sense why you would have a dual memory. Curious yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to go to the other image? That's like okay. it. Okay, so is this the one? I'm waiting for it to get on my big screen with the rims that I remember. Oh, look at that upside down V. <laughs> yeah. I think it's hard for me to see. That might be the rims that I remember. No, I don't know. I think it's, I don't think that's the one. And that's a, like the first rims, right? Is that like the first movie's rims? I don't know. I think it is. It's hard for me to see on the small screen. Yes. We're going to get to that, Jennifer. Okay. We have that. Don't worry. Yes. I think we do. So here's the other poster with the other car on the back for, for Back to the Future 3. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's the car with the actual rims. Is that better for the white? Because this is the actual tire as opposed to... Who said that the white was, was bigger? The actual tire, the white, is bigger than that drawing. And the red looks a little smaller. Variable says yes, that's what they remember. And Brody as well. Yep. Okay. So yeah, they look weird to me. I don't remember them at all. Hmm. I also don't remember all that red on the on the car on the top and the back. That's what I remember right there. Look at the rim, guys. Karen, do you remember this type of rim? Clear as day when they took the tires off, too. This is what I remember. Jennifer M says, yes, like that. See, okay, there's three probabilities here. We have three realities going on. Karen Looney says, that's more like it. Yeah, see, that's, I think... I think we're 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 three way split here, guys. Maybe I'll do a, a three graphic for her next time. And notice there's less red in the back. There's only the red. I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. The car's off. And then there's. That's also listed as the third movie. So now there's a third rim. There's three rims for the third movie, apparently. Damien G is saying all three tires were in the movie, but I don't remember that. I don't remember the tires changing. Why would the rims change throughout the third movie? Yeah, they did. They, I think we're all seeing things differently. I mean, that makes sense, except I thought they just took the tires off. But for me, it, it the rims didn't change. It's so weird. Well, do you have anything else to show tonight? Uh, no, let's see. Hold on one sec. I think that's, that's it. That's it for me. Esther's, Esther's is see. the last one for me. Uh, 
For those of you that joined us late, you missed uh, changes with the Beatles. Um, you missed, what else did we cover earlier today? Here, I'll, I'll look at my folder and just tell them real quick. In case they want to go back and look. Um, Teresa remembers Betsy Johnson being spelled differently. Um, we covered uh, Chanel number five, uh, Mona Lisa's hair. Two of the Beatles changes, Yellow Submarine and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. Um, I have three new changes with the Tin Man that I found. Um, that I found last week. Uh, we did War Games. A few okay. pieces of residue. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it for it. mine. And, and two. okay. Yeah. Well, two and a half hours and it's a uh, after 2 a.m. here, so I think we're gonna. Yeah, call it. it's uh, pretty late, guys. So we're, we're gonna cut this one a little bit short. But um, let's we see. appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to mention. Uh, uh, we'll we'll do that we'll, one, next one show. And explain. What do you mean? Stay tuned for <laughs> for the next show because Sandy and I. Went back to the past using Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. We we can kind of do a, a brief thing on that next show, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we may be able to it do a demonstration of how it works. Yeah, we have a video. Exactly. Yeah, wait. That I want. I really want to know. Eric Tron is saying money bags ripped off your fine. What fines? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. Which one? Uh, I don't know. I know Doc Martens was mine. I mean, they may have not realized it. I don't know. Tweeted about it. Covered it on Mandela Monday. Covered it on Brian's show. I have okay, a video Eric, on it on my channel. Airtron <laughs> so 3000. Which one? I look at how many saying. times like, tires were changed back in the future. And you will see three explained and when we should look that up sometime. I, well, we got to call it a night, guys. Um, okay, he released videos on the dot in the forehead on Tim. Well, we had no idea then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we're no, <laughs> we, no, honestly, uh, money bags probably no. found that the forehead one. I didn't see his video. Probably found the forehead one on his own. Um, I was talking about someone else, not money bags. To be clear, I was not talking about money bags. This is a video that was released today. Unless money bags released a video today, in which case I didn't even know. But I didn't even mention the heart thing. I had in addition to the nose thing, I have two other changes that I found. And I agree with the heart thing though. I saw someone mention it earlier. Oh, I heard it, it just came out a few hours ago. Oh, really? So he took well, it we from just, you. <laughs> Well, no, no. He probably released his video no, I'm just while too. we were streaming. To be honest um, with you, I don't know. No, I have, I, a, I have a feeling Moneybags is going to credit the person who um who posted a video sh when right after I should have uh, put it on. It was I was gonna I was gonna have it on Mandela Monday, but Mandela Monday was canceled, so. I'm assuming he got it from that person, not from me. Let's, let's do it that way. But anyway, I agree with the heart. It was inside a a door, just like uh, Futurama. Bender from Futurama. The door wasn't as big, but he had a door like Bender from Futurama. Who has yellow teeth now and eyes, by the way? They used to be white for me. That's a change I found a while back. I haven't covered it on uh, Curious's channel before, but I have covered it on Twitter and Brian's channel. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. if anyone's having a hard time finding what it looked like, check out Bender from Futurama. Yeah. But that's not my changes with the Tin Man, if you want to go back and check it out. He has blue eyeshadow now. And I don't remember all the pimples all over his head. I'm calling them pimples, <laughs> the rivets. I remember mm -hmm. him far holding his jaw on um, with rivets, but they were on the bar holding mm -hmm. his jaw on his head. Currently... The jaw is just attached, floating on his head. His jaw would fall off if he was, if he was a real thing man. But you can go back and look at the uh, the replay if you want to see the images. But yeah, we, we covered some nice stuff tonight. If you guys missed it, 
All right. I yeah, I got to say, I don't really remember the the bar on hit, on hit Tin Man either, but um, that's perhaps I was too young when I was really into that <laughs> to remember. You were just from a different reality at the time. Yeah, <laughs> or perhaps that, exactly. But True. Um, we do appreciate you guys. I mean, it was last minute. We just, our, our schedules got all screwed up and we had to change the show last minute. So we really appreciate you. Yeah, so if you go to my channel and see the video where it says there's a show coming tomorrow, there's there's none. So I'm really sorry about that. I once again messed up on that. So uh, it, it and Sandy was so good as to write in the comment section to correct that and say that it, it is going to be for tonight. But um. Our next show, I, I don't know when it's going to be yet, but we'll, we'll definitely let everyone know. I'll put out a video and everything on my channel. Check yeah. it out oh, there. And, uh, and next week, next week, our special guest will be Mark Feelings. Yeah, we're going to have a guest next week. Yeah. All right. Great. So good night, everyone. It's been a great show. Yeah, thanks for coming. Good thanks night. For coming. We really appreciate you hanging this late with us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. Good Bye, night. Everyone.